All right, the problem says, A, calculate the molar mass of hemoglobin, and B, calculate the mass in grams of hemoglobin of an average adult if an average adult has 5.0 liters of blood, every milliliter of blood has 5.0 times 10 to the 9th red blood cells, and each red blood cell has about 2.8 times 10 to the 8th hemoglobin molecules. So let's start with part A, calculate the molar mass of hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is this long chemical formula right there. So to calculate the molar mass of that, we're going to take the amount of atoms in the formula and multiply that by that element's molar mass. We'll do that for each of the elements, add them all together, and that will be our molar mass. So for carbon, for instance, in every molecule of hemoglobin, there's 2,952 atoms. So 2,952, and we were gonna multiply that by the molar mass of carbon looking at our periodic table is 12.01. And we'll do that for the next element, hydrogen, 4,664. That's how many atoms are in each molecule and then multiply by the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 1.01. Okay, nitrogen, 812. times 14.01 plus oxygen 832 times 16 plus sulfur has 8 sulfur's molar mass is 32.07 and finally, iron has four atoms per molecule and has a molar mass of 55.85 grams per mole. So if we multiply those and add them together for each element, if we hit equals, we should get the molar mass of hemoglobin is around 65,332 0.24, so let's round that to 65,300. And our units on that are going to be grams per mole. And we're gonna need that for part B. But first, let's look at part B. There's some information in the problem that we need. First up, we know an average adult has 5.0 liters of blood, so 5.0 liters of blood for every one adult. We know every milliliter of blood it has 5.0 times 10 to the ninth red blood cells. So one milliliter of blood equals 5. 0 0.0 times 10 to the ninth red blood cells. And then finally, each red blood cell has about 2.8 times 10 to the eighth hemoglobin molecules. So one red blood cell is 2.8 times 10 to the eighth hemoglobin molecules. Okay, so in part B, where do we start? Well, we know that 5.0 liters of blood is for every adult. So let's start with that. We'll put 5.0 liters of blood, and that's gonna be over or per one adult. Okay, so we'll start there, and we wanna end up with grams of hemoglobin per adult, okay, per one adult. So we gotta get from 5.0 liters of blood per adult to grams of hemoglobin per adult. So we're gonna have to convert, multiply by a conversion factor. What should we use? Well, we're starting with liters, 
And I know that one milliliter of blood is so many red blood cells. So let's turn liters into milliliters. So because liters is on top to start, we're gonna put it on bottom so that it cancels out. We'll put milliliters and that's gonna be of blood. These are both of blood. Kind of squeeze that in there. What's the relationship between milliliters and liters? Well, one liter is 10 to the third milliliters. Okay, so at this point, liters of blood will cancel. Now we gotta get rid of milliliters of blood. What can we turn that into? Well, we know one milliliter of blood is 5.0 times 10 to the ninth red blood cells. So milliliters of blood on the bottom. Okay, one milliliter is 5.0 times 10 to the ninth red blood cells. And at this point, milliliters of blood will cancel out. Okay, so now we have red blood cells per adult. Where can we go from there? Well, we know one red blood cell is 2.8 times 10 to the eighth hemoglobin molecules. So one red blood cell is 2.8 times 10 to the eighth hemoglobin molecules. Okay, red blood cells will cancel out. Now what do we do? So we have hemoglobin molecules per adult. We need to turn hemoglobin molecules into moles, and then we can go from moles to grams using the molar mass. So how do we get from molecules to moles? Well, we're gonna use this relationship you may have heard of. It is one mole equals a certain number, and it can be of basically anything. In this instance, we're gonna say hemoglobin molecules, and that number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And that's gonna be hemoglobin molecules, okay? That number is Avogadro's number, maybe you've heard of that. So, in this step, we're gonna have one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd hemoglobin molecules. Okay, hemoglobin molecules will cancel out. And then finally, our last step, we can use our molar mass from part A. One mole of hemoglobin is 65,300 grams, okay? And mole cancels out. So in terms of units, we're gonna be left with grams of hemoglobin per adult or over one adult. All right, let's do the math. We're gonna start with 5.0 and we're going to multiply by the top of each fraction and divide by the bottom, ignoring ones because they're not gonna change it. So we're gonna do times 10 to the third, times 5.0 times 10 to the ninth, times 2.8 times 10 to the eighth. Now we're gonna divide by, and I would open a parentheses here, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and we're gonna close parentheses. That number has to be together, otherwise your calculator will not do the order of operations correctly. And then finally, times 65,300. Hit equals, and we should get around 759 0.67, let's round that to 760. Okay, so part A, final answer, what is the molar mass of hemoglobin? It is 65,300 grams or grams per mole. And then for part B, what is the mass in grams of hemoglobin of an average adult? Well, that is 760 grams.
All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.